Welcome to the 1980s. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. <laughs> Got a weird one today. Well, not a weird one, but um, I haven't drunk this stuff since it must be the late 80s or early 90s. Um, this was a really popular beer over in the UK. Back in the 80s and the 90s, uh, it was very common in bottles, in pubs. Um, there was a big... Uh, <laughs> big uh, campaign, advertising campaign. The reason I'm laughing is um, they used to have uh, an advertisement. I'll put a link in the description for Holston Pils. Something about being in a desert and wanting a Holston Pils. Probably the worst thing you could drink in the desert, alcohol, but yeah, that didn't matter in the advertising world. But it used to be advertised by Donald Pleasance as well. I don't know if you remember him, the actor. They used to advertise a Holston Diet Pils, which was designed for diabetics, if you can imagine that encouraging diabetics to drink. The 80s were brilliant. I loved them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, the bad point or the unfortunate point about this is it's not brewed in Germany. This is brewed in the UK. Well, it says it's brewed in the EU um, for Carlsberg. This particular can, I can't be 100% sure, but I'm almost certain this was brewed up in Northampton in the satanic mill that is the bottling plant and the can canning plant i'd struggle to call it a brewery but they brew beer there so i suppose it has to be called a brewery but um yeah all your all your macro lagers are, are brewed up there and uh, for carlsberg anyway and uh this i think is one of them and it contains glucose syrup as well it's got that in the ingredients so there's two big alarm bells for me but i really don't want to judge a beer before i've even opened it so let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Of course, the original, ha um, the original Holston Brewery is in, based in Hamburg in Germany. I've tasted bit beer from there, a lager that was brought over from a, from Hamburg by a mate. And to be honest, it was tasted pretty generic. But that was back a good while back. But let's give it this particular can. Let's give it a go now. Oh. Immediately there was a an acidic citrusy smell and not in a good way either a vinegary type but it seems to have calmed down now and this sweet sweet citrus that i'm getting from it now let's pour it out let's see what's going on as i say i used to drink gallons of this stuff back in the 80s from bottles i used to drink this is how much of an animal i was i used to drink diamond white remember diamond white cider I used to drink Diamond White and Holston Snake Bites, and that was a a bottle of bottle of Diamond White, a bottle of um, a bottle of Holston Pills, all poured in to the same glass, mixed together and drunk. Christ knows what I was thinking, but yeah, some of the hangovers were um, legendary. This is what it looks like in the glass. That is a straw type colour, medium carbonation there. One finger head. What's the aroma? Yeah, more of the same. Very sweet. Sweet, malty, and citrus, but let's give it a go. Let's give it a go now. Surprisingly, that is not the worst beer I've tasted. It's very sweet. You can definitely get that glucose syrup in there. <clears throat> but you still get your bready, doughy malt 
and your citrus on the arse end of it. But it's not bad. In the summer, this will be quite drinkable. I'm drinking it completely wrong time of year. It's just early January. It's almost dark and it's freezing cold outside and I'm drinking a freezing cold lager. But it isn't bad. It's certainly not the worst lager I've tasted. And coming from a, a macro brewer like Carlsberg, that is saying something. So yeah, it's not... I can't fault it. It doesn't stand out as being fantastic and it's a little bit sweet. That glucose syrup, I don't know why they put that in there, but apparently they had to do it. Um, but it doesn't taste bad. Um, I don't know whether you remember if you were into football, but these used to sponsor uh, Tottenham Hotspur years ago. I will let that slide. I will not knock marks off for that. So I would give that, I was expecting to give it a two out of 10 and pour it down the sink. I'm gonna drink the rest of that. And I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. The reason I'm not giving it more is because the glucose syrup, you can taste it and it does give it a slightly, very slightly artificial sweetness, which taints it for me. I question why you need to put glucose syrup in it. I'm wondering whether they done this originally in uh, Hamburg, in the, in the Holston Brewery in Hamburg. I'd like to think they didn't. Um, I've yet to find out whether they, they have or not, but um, I know there's a big thing about the old uh, purity laws, the Reinheitsgebot. A lot of German brewery, brewers want to um, circumnavigate that. Some of them just completely ignore it and put what they want in. But... Um, Unfortunately, this doesn't fall under that 15, 16 purity law, but it's not a bad beer all the same. Yeah, six and a half out of ten. Would I recommend it? This was a pound a can, I think. Pound nine a can in the shop around the corner. So it's cheap. So if you like lager and you want a cheap night out, you know, four or five of these, you go to a party or something, or a barbecue, stick them in the fridge, they'll do the job. Quite strong, 5%. Well, not quite strong, but average strength, 5%. Yeah, that will that will do the job very nicely. So yeah, six and a half out of ten. Slightly, slightly better than I thought. So yeah, recommended. With caution, though. It's Carlsberg, brewed up in Northampton. And remember, life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. <laughs>